Hi everyone, my name is Katie Torbert and I am so honored to serve as the University of South Carolina's Dance Marathon president this upcoming year. And my name is Seth Hages and I'm ecstatic to be returning as the Vice President of Finance for USC Dance Marathon for the second year. We're so grateful to have the opportunity to present to y'all about one of USCDM's most successful days from this past year. But before Seth and I do a deep dive into how our program saw success from this day, we thought it was important to set the scene. On Monday, October 4th, 2021, programs across the nation came together to spread awareness about child health care and raise funds for their local Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Last year, CMNH Dance Marathon programs raised more than $637,000 for local Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Not only did these programs raise critical funds for their local hospitals, but also registered more than 9,190 students to raise these funds for Children's Miracle Network hospitals across the nation. So Child Health Day was the catalyst that propelled USC Dance Marathon to success from this past year. And as seen by this chart, Child Health Day 2021 was the most successful Child Health Day in USC Dance Marathon history. And as a result, it really led to the highest percentage fundraising increase in the past five years. And this past year, USCDM was the highest fundraising program in the nation, raising over $71,000 in 24 hours. So what is Child Health Day? Child Health Day is a federally observed holiday on the first Monday of every October, and as stated by President Barack Obama in 2013, on Child Health Day, we are reminded of our first most urgent task to protect and develop the health of our children. This year, Child Health Day will take place on Monday, October 3rd. So Seth and I have broken down Child Health Day into three timelines, the before, the during, and the after. These three timelines are laying the groundwork, which will explore the days and weeks leading up to Child Health Day, a call for action, which will address the day of Child Health Day, and lastly, building the foundation, which will explore the next steps after your program's Child Health Day. And we have also listed some key themes that our program saw throughout our uh, push day this past year. So One Team, One Dream will address how collaboration and working as a team can help your program achieve great things on Child Health Day. We will also explore how building community can play a vital role in the days leading up to Child Health Day. Um, intentionality is another area our program incorporated through Child Health Day last year. And lastly, problem solving and how it plays a vital part um, in our program and how it was practiced throughout this push day. So Seth and I will further break down how each of these key takeaways and how each were beneficial for USCDM on our 2021 Child Health Day. Now, before you can have a successful Child Health Day, you must spend the weeks leading up to planning and laying the groundwork for success. So before Child Health Day, collaboration is super important to allow each area of your internal team to really be present throughout the day. And you must work as one team to execute one dream to be the most successful you can be. The first area you can do this is on your campus relations team. Once we got back to campus and before Child Health Day, we held recruitment tabling and recruitment push days to get as many participants registered as possible. You cannot fundraise without participants, so you want to spend this time to register them and really get them involved in your organization. Next, you want to use your dancer relations team to steward your participants. To do this, we created a participant communication calendar to send out targeted information so that we didn't overwhelm our participants, but we wanted to keep them in the loop to what was happening. Next, we used our communication team to get campus prepared and acclimated for what's to come. We held a press day at our football stadium and used the content throughout the weeks leading up to and on Child Health Day. We use this content to reach every corner of campus and the community, including utilizing the largest platform we have, Game Talk Football. Our graphics on social media <laughs> defined for them and gave them an overview of what they could look forward to. We established a purpose for our participants and wanted them to feel connected to our day, even if they don't necessarily have a personal connection to dance with them. In the planning period of Child Health Day, we decided that we truly wanted this day to be about spreading awareness about our cause. Our program has traditional recruitment tabling throughout the year, but we wanted Child Health Day to look a little bit different. We wanted to include a variety of programming that was not necessarily fundraising based. 
Our team ensured that we allowed each of our branches to have an impact on Child Health Day. These programming collaborations needed to happen early in your planning process to ensure that Child Health Day messaging and the purpose of Child Health Day stays consistent across all areas of your day and your programming. In the days and weeks leading up to Child Health Day, our external events team also planned exciting events for our campus and community to engage in. We wanted to build overall hero engagement and spread cause connective information prior to Child Health Day to give a sneak preview of the day. These events included paint nights and sports tournaments. Next, building community is gonna be essential to any push day. You really want to motivate individuals by fostering connections in the weeks leading up to Child Health Day in order to be successful. Now, as mentioned before, we held tabling events in the weeks leading up to Child Health Day. And in addition to recruiting participants, we really wanted to show how fun Dance Marathon can be and remove the fundraising aspect of it. We had a presence on campus and gave participants something to look forward to with Child Health Day on the horizon. We also really strategically held our campaign reveal two weeks before Child Health Day, not only to build excitement, especially for our internal team, but as a registration push to get participants registered and stewarded before Child Health Day. You always need to keep who and what you're fundraising for at the center of everything you do for Child Health Day. This allows your program to incorporate cause-connected pieces into all of your events, fundraising resources, and social media graphics and information. If your audience is aware of the cause that you're fundraising for, they are more likely to donate. This all comes with being more intentional in your planning of Child Health Day. One example of how our team was intentional and saw success was through our social media content in the days leading up to Child Health Day. Our family and hospital relations team was another area that worked hard throughout the planning process of our push day to ensure cause connection was at the heart of everything and anything that we were doing throughout the day. Although Child Health Day is nationally recognized and spreads awareness about children's hospitals across the nation, it is important for your program to bring the information and cause connected materials back to a local level. And what better way to share the importance of children's health than through the lens of a miracle child or a miracle family? Our program was fortunate to gather personal experiences from our miracle families and use their stories in the days leading up to Child Health Day. It is always good to plan for all the things that could hinder your events um, and fundraising success or any other area of Child Health Day. It is also important to ensure there's organization and a clear map of what the major goals and visions are for your Child Health Day. Our program saw great success with a planning document that tracked all of the tasks our executive board was responsible for completing in the weeks leading up to Child Health Day. This allowed every member of the executive team to take a proactive approach to the day as everyone was well aware of what, what every other area was doing during the day. So to wrap us up on laying the groundwork, I had to include this quote from one of my all-time favorite TV shows because it really strikes home all of the points that we discussed in this section. If your team has clear eyes or a clear vision, a team behind you that is passionate about changing kids' health then you cannot go wrong with your intentions and goals for your program's Child Health Day. So you've spent the past few weeks registering participants and building excitement on campus, and now it's time for the day itself and your call for action. There will be endless opportunities to collaborate the day of Child Health Day with your internal team, but it's important that your every aspect of your organization is represented. And here are gonna be, and we're gonna outline a couple ways to do so. For campus relations, there's a texting platform you can use via your cause partner manager that can help you send out updates to all participants registered for Dance Marathon. It can communicate all your important event details like matching hours and activities, even if social media so happens to crash as it did this past year. We also used our internal team to communicate with all of our participants and to personally text them. This was crucial, especially when social media crashed, like I mentioned before. Our team captains program was also activated on this day and we saw really positive reactions from all student organizations on campus. We sent them fundraising as well as cause connective resources to aid them in leading their team to success on Child Health Day. This graph illustrates the registration numbers we had throughout the day. And as you can see, the time when we had a presence on campus during the middle of the day was our highest recruiting numbers. We made connections with students 
And that is the most important part of getting participants registered and bought into the cause and community. It is important to continue to emphasize your cause connected materials throughout this day, especially in your fundraising resources. This will allow your heroes and community to quickly understand what exactly you're raising funds for. These are a few examples of how our program included cause connective information in our fundraising efforts. We saw great success in our heroes clearly understanding what we are fundraising for throughout the day. Our team also wanted to create meaningful experiences for our heroes or participants to interact with our Miracle families and hospital staff. We are fortunate that one of our hospital, hospital's ambulances was able to be present during our tabling hours. Throughout the day, students and heroes would stop and chat with the hospital staff to learn more about our local hospital and what our funds go towards. These are just a few ways our program was able to effectively use cost connective materials throughout our child health day. For fundraising, we offered incentive raffles to get participants inspired to fundraise. Specifically, our free t-shirt giveaway for every student that registered was a huge incentive. And finally, we really pushed out the CMNH incentives offered because who doesn't want free swag for fundraising? Now, moving on to community, motivation is gonna be the key to success on Child Health Day and effectively creating a community on the day of is really crucial to this. You wanna make tabling fun and approachable. Students want to come up to you and see what all the excitement is about. Include all areas of your team from your staff, internal teams, impact teams, morale, and your, if you have a freshman or sophomore leadership program like we do, as we call ours Ignite, involve them in your tabling days on campus. You wanna put the fun in fundraising and have activities for your students to do at tabling that can raise a little bit of money and make an impact no matter how big or how small. Finally, to end your day, hold a final flip and celebrate your wins, no matter how big or small, because regardless of your total, you are changing kids' health and changing the future. This also sets your team up for success in the future as it paves the way for excitement and gives your team a chance to build a community and recognize the accomplishments they made together. It is so important that your program continues to be intentional throughout the day on your child health day. Intentionality can create more meaning behind your program's push day. Intentionality can be exhibited through your program's social media platforms as this allows a larger audience to see who and what you're fundraising for on this push day. Another great way to be intentional during this day is with your communication to your heroes and team captains. These relationships should not be transactional, but intentional and meaningful. The relationship you build on Child Health Day sets the precedent for future push days. Child Health Day was the first big push day for our team captains, and we recognized that this was the first time they'd be leading their teams in fundraising efforts. We supplied them with necessary fundraising materials and templates to equip them to lead their teams as independently as possible, but also established a line of communication through our campus branch to assist with any concerns or questions throughout the day. Moving to problem solving, be sure that you're adaptive and creative in your problem solving efforts the day of Child Health Day. You cannot control everything on that day as we saw this past year, no matter how much you plan, even in the event of a random Facebook and Instagram crash the day of, or severe weather that could impact your tabling, activities on campus and fundraising efforts. So it's important to move efficiently and communicate any changes effectively and clearly to all participants involved in Dance Marathon from your internal team to your external heroes. Here is an hour by hour breakdown of USC Dance Marathon's Child Health Day 2021. As you can see from when social media crashed, our, our hourly fundraising took a massive hit. We use this time to take to connect with participants and get them registered as we saw in the previous graph showing registration totals. The biggest impact on our fundraising total, however, was from our first matching hour of the year, which was held on this day. This hour saw over $16,000 come in and ended the day on the high note and propelled us to raise over $71,000 for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Following Child Health Day, it's important to look to the future and build on the foundation you set in the previous 24 hours so you can be successful at your main event and on other push days. So what now? Congratulations, you had a successful Child Health Day, but now what? Your team should capitalize on this momentum and see Child Health Day not as the end, but as the beginning for your program to maximize your potential for other events and push days. So you're probably thinking, how in the world did Seth and I 
pull all of this information into one presentation? Well, it's because as a program, we utilize the post analysis technique SWOT at the end of every push day. This gives our internal team to reflect on what worked, what didn't work, and any opportunities to grow in future push days. This is a great tool to use after any push day or event, not just Child Health Day. Our SWOT analysis from last year's Child Health Day allowed us to get up here and share all of our tips and tricks with y'all. So there are multiple approaches that your program can take um, to building your Child Health Day. Um, the best way for your program to succeed on Child Health Day and utilize it as a push day is by building your goals around your program's needs. Whether it be recruitment or fundraising or simply just spread awareness of your program and hospital, Child Health Day can be an important tool in helping your program succeed. But, in, but all in all, the main goal of your Child Health Day is to create a national day at a local level to maximize your program's potential. Thank you all so much for listening to our presentation and feel free to reach out to myself or Katie at any point throughout the entire year with questions about Child Health Day or other push days related. And we would now like to open the floor for any questions you may have.